It's a hot one. To, well, it's not that hot. It's almost 90. I reckon. It's not bad. I was out uh, taking videos of wildflowers. And I guess I gotta get a better camera. Because I keep hitting pause. And for some reason, after I hit pause, I'm doing something with my fingers. Touch sensitive screens and all. And it just winds up. I get nothing. <clears throat> or get some video editing software from my phone other than the trimming software that's on it as is. Maybe I'll download an app tonight that I can start splicing videos together. So even when I catch something pretty by accident, I can splice it into a longer video to post here. But it's a beautiful uh, day. It had a lot of rain over the weekend. Uh, I thought we might have a flood again. But everything's turned out all right. Lenny's here with me. Today is a milestone day. I've got them out with me with no remote, uh, no obedience collars on them, no invisible fencing, no invisible uh, commands, nothing. They stuck with me good. And when they got out of sight, all I had to do was call them. I didn't, even, didn't have a whistle with me to even blow. I called them and they come running. And uh, that, that's good. Here comes highway now. I'm really proud of them. The obedience collar that I ordered from Amazon. Uh, it comes two collars and one remote. And it doesn't take long to train them at all. If they start doing something you don't like, you give out a no, a sharp no, and then they then you hit the button for it to beep. When it beeps. When they first hear the beep, they don't know what's going on. But then if they're still misbehaving, you say no again. And then that time you hit the uh, next button up and that's vibrate. And it sets off a little vibration in their throat. And uh, they get, that usually gets their attention. They stop what they're doing because they don't know what to think. But if they're still like in the middle of a, of a wrestling match or barking at some something they shouldn't be barking at or just generally misbehaving like in the trash or something like that just say no the third time and when you say it that third time you hit the third button it gives them electric shock which is equivalent according to the to the instructions the manual it's like a little a quick bee sting and they'll do a quick they'll do a, they don't like that they give a quick yelp and then uh, they stop what they're doing uh, it only takes a couple of times with that. I haven't had uh, since that first day using the uh, The little having to use electric shock a couple of times From that day on The beep is normally enough when they hear the beep that means come running or get stopped doing what they're doing If they didn't happen to catch the beep and I hit the vibrate then they know for sure Not to do what they're doing and to come to me And they are really good at it now today there's no collar. I've trained them to where they need to come to me when I call them. And I've been calling and co uh, coinciding my calls with the beep. Sorry, airplane flying over here. We're near the uh, West Houston airport. And there goes some monarch butterflies. Looking for some milkweed, I'm sure. There should be a little bit of it around here. <laughs> I'd say a lot of it. <laughs> anyway, the... Uh, let me give him a call right quick. Come here, boys. Come here, Highway. Come here, Lenny. And here they come. Come on, boys. Here they come. Do they know? They know. They, I think the main thing it was, it's not anything of uh, negative reinforcement. It really just showed them what I was meaning. They didn't know what I meant in the early days when I was saying no or stop. Or quit that now they, they know what it means and they seem very adjusted to that and very they say a disciplined dog is a happy dog uh, I think dogs really just want to know what's expected and what to do as a member of this, this pack that we call a family as humans and the dogs will call a pack and there's Lenny plopping down in the background there he's gonna rest in the shade because he knows I want him back. 
he was he's younger than highway so he's much more uh, compliant pliable to the training highway is a little bit of a more of a stubborn dog but he he pays attention right now he's plopping down in the shade over there so anyway that was i've bent your ear long enough i'll uh i'm gonna go ahead and uh shut this down and post it uh again thank you for viewing my videos uh liking and to those of you that su subscribe thank you very much i'd like to hear from you i'd like to hear your comments good or bad i'm just out walking just uh enjoying my free time i still work i'm 62 but i still work and uh that's uh, life's road for me right now. I think I could really thrive on retirement. I'm looking forward to that one day. Uh, I joke around that some people go out of their minds uh, by not having a job to do when they retire. I, I found out when I was on vacation that I actually thrive on inactivity. Mind you, my inactivity is not that inactive. I'm out doing stuff, walking, working out, riding my bike enjoying the hell out of myself. All right. Talk to you again later. Bye.